I've had some requests to find the LCD of three fractions with this same method and so I'm going to do that here. However, I would suggest going back to the algorithmic method of uh, finding the LCD. So you can click and watch that video here. Otherwise, if you want, we'll use the method that was shown in the previous video. So what we want to do with this method is we look at two of them first. So any two you want. I'm just going to look at the 8 and the 12. And what we want to do is we want to find the GCF of those, the greatest common factor. Again, if you need to find the greatest common factor, if you don't know what that is, please watch this video that's shown here. It's the first number, it's a number that goes into both 8 and 12. So 4. Greatest common factor is 4. It's the mo biggest number that goes into both 8 and 12. Now what we do is we take that 4 and we divide it into one of those two. So I'll take 8 and divide it by 4. I choose 8, I could take 12. Doesn't matter. I get 2. Since I took the 8 and divided it by 4, I take the 2 and I multiply it by the 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. We use that 24 and we use the third number we haven't used. And we redo the process. So 24 and 14 we do it over here. This is the process of finding the LCD. We just treat them like they were fractions and we redo it. 24, the greatest common factor between 24 and 14. 2. 2 goes into both of those. So I do it again. GCF is 2. I divide, let's say I take the 14 and I divide it by 2. I get 7. Take that 7, multiply the other one you didn't use. 24 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. 14, 15, 16. 168. So, after all that work, the LCD is 168. Now, you're supposed to go back to your original problem, like let's say if you were adding them or subtracting them, and create 168 in the denominator of each of those. Now, you can see that's a little complicated. It's not very quick and it, you could easily make a mistake. I suggest doing um, the algorithmically like step-by-step -step process by looking at the factors uh, to find the LCD and you can watch that video here. So click that if you'd like to see a more methodical way of doing it. Otherwise you can practice this one right now on this problem. If you pause it and try it on this problem and then I'll complete it. Okay, I'm going to complete this problem. I need to find the GCF, and I'm going to choose to do it of the 6 and 16. 2 goes into each of those. Okay, I'm going to divide this 6 by 2 and get a 3. That one, we used, sorry, we used this one up here, right here, so now I have to go and use the other one. So that's going to 16. times 3, 18, 3, 48. Now 48 and 20 are the two numbers I'm going to use and do the same process again. So 48 and 20, GCF of those two. See, a, looks like a 2 will go into both of those, a 4 will go into both of those. 4 is the biggest number that goes into both of those. Now I divide it out of one of those. 48 divided by 4 equals 12. And then multiply it over here. 20 times 12. Looks like 240. So after all that work, the LCD is 240. And that's what I would make go back up here to the very top and make them each 240. And they'd be able to be common denominators. Again, a little hard to follow. Maybe click this video here to watch the more methodical method with an algorithmically process on finding the LCD.